taking big strides towards achieving their goals. In today's program, we have Naomi Irongo, an education science student at Masinde Muliro University of Science and Technology. Let's hear more. Uh, so thank you for having me. My name is Naomi Irongo. I'm the CEO of Tujuani Adventures and Safaris. It's a pleasure having this opportunity to be able to share my experiences and insights to your audience. Wow. So at a tender age, you seem to have a knack for business. Mm -hmm. How did you nurture this? First of all, uh, let's say my background has motivated me. Number one, okay, uh, I'm an orphan. Uh, my parents passed on earlier, earlier on when I was a tender age. So when it came to high school, high school I got a scholarship by equity. They nurtured me to uh, till I finished. And when I finished, the first job that I did was Equity Bank. Mm -hmm. So that exposed me to the world of business, to the world of earning my own money, and to, yeah, it motivated me. So from there on, after I did, uh, it was an Inua Jami contract. Mm -hmm. So after I finished, then I got another job. My, my, my chairman from my, uh, my church that I was attending at that time uh, had a shop a wholesale shop which had Mpesa agents, uh, KCB agent, equity agent, so he employed me there. It also exposed me some more to the world of business. Then after that, before I joined uh, campus, I applied to a certain position in a, a supermarket in Nyahururu. Nyahururu by the way is my home. In Mugo supermarket, I got a chance to be uh, at the customer care desk. It gave me another chance to be exposed into this business world. So by the time I joined campus, I was confident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, in campus, I had financial challenges. Uh, my background was somehow not able to support me very well, and uh, I was relying on help funds. So I had to source for other means of me to navigate through these campus moments. Yeah. So what can you say about the experiences, the different uh, positions of business you have been in and how they brought you to this place that you're in right now? I can say they gave me confidence. Okay. And uh, they gave me connections, they gave me network. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And uh, what, what kind of businesses do you venture in as, as of now? I started by selling sweets in in our hostels. Mm -hmm. So that is what was the first job in your Jandika. And yes, Jandika and I'm to Wingine, you know, I'm Jandika. So uh, there was this glow candies. There was this glow candies. Then you see the waka waka, either luminous green, luminous yellow, orange. So uh, first of all, before ni ni your idea, there was this MC. Likwane Tramwita MC Raj used to sell lollipops. This is a kawaii too. He used to buy a packet of 250, then sell it and get a profit, 100% profit, 500 bob. So I saw it was a good idea, but I wanted to be unique. So there was these glow candies. I used to sell them at 20 bob. So you get a packet of 200 bob, you sell it, you get 600 bob. Wow. Yeah, so that is like 200% profit. more than, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I used to sell them, uh, actually in the boys' hostels most of the time. It was illegal, but we used to sneak, sneak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But uh, at least it gave me something to navigate in. Uh, I, I knew a lot of people in campus. It gave me network, popularity. And the MC, of course, became my friend, MC Raj. <laughs> ah, yeah. So after that, uh, Corona came. We went at home. I used to buy popcorns, cook them, then sell to the to the children. I didn't do it for a long time, but when the school resumed, I had this idea of Smoky and my eye business. So I came to Masine Molero, found a company called Candy Fresh. Candy Fresh, they used to cook the goods for you. 
get, they give you a trolley, then they let you go and sell. At, in the evening, you come, you pay for your trolley at 100 bob per day, you pay your stock, then you go away with the profit. Yeah, so that is how I used to do it during the day. I used to do it during the day when I don't have classes. I come to town, I take uh, the stock, the trolley, wash it very well, katakata my kachumbari, then go outside and sell them to people. Mm. And I gain my profits. Yeah, so that is how I started. Yeah, then after that, I, uh, after that, the MC now, the, the one who used to sell sweet sweet, I came and asked me, uh, he, he saw me posting the smoky business and he was like, I was also thinking about the smoky business. Can you introduce me to it? Okay. And I'm like, Fine, I'm the guru here. I'll introduce you to it. And he came, he came to introduce Candy Fresh, a couple of trolley, then the first day of his work, you confidence. Yeah, I was a mentor there and I was so proud. <laughs> yeah, so he started his business too like that. So there was a time to kind of let you to catch up a biashara. So, but a business here, smoking a maya in Africa, palina fluctuate maya in Panda Bay. So in Aqua, on a pata profit kidogo, profit margin in Aqua kidogo. I love on a pata maya kipanda bay, yama smokies kipanda bay. Watu wanakula, wana reduce. No, na, and you are allowed to, to kwa wingi sana tunauza kwa market. So business inakuwa a little bit shaky. Tukaingilia ice cream. So we used to take ice cream. There was a friend called Hillary. He's a photographer, but alikuwa nauza ice cream your time. So na tupe boxes, each, each of us, cool boxes. Idi kula boxes. Yeah. Tunenda kwa markets. For example, Shinyalu market, Apa Ivi Kakamega, Tunenda, Tunauza the whole day. So the uh, the ice, I used to look at Tunauza 10 bob, but Apa Ivi imagine to kakula shilingi tatu, tukiwa na MC. Shilingi tatu, okay. Okay. Like ini, unangangana ju, sasa eh. Utafanya nini, unangalia, ju ni lazima ni kule, I have bills to pay, I have rent, I have school fees, I have to upkeep myself, so. So after that, Beshare Kakuan Gumu. She can get a two coconini quite skip moja. Of course, minims Chana and Lipa knows I used to make sales. MC Pal and Lukana Nangana Kidog in Akata, but me I used to make sales because I know Manakuza is not a joke or kawaida too. Hey, ni msichana anauza ice cream. Anakula karibu zote kwa box. <laughs> <laughs> I had an upper hand. Hata kwa smoky, I had an upper hand because I used to make sales. Hey, Nenda na piga luku na chukua troll yangu ni kitambi vita. Hey, umsichana anauza smoky. I need to eat, I need to eat. They eat. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's stand lube. Yeah. True. Uh, nasa, ile, ile kwangu lazima tu ninge pata yo confidence kuenda kwa market. Ile... Siangali watu wananiangalia aje. And actually, nikitoa iyo uoga, iyo fear, people used to be inspired by what I do. They used to, they used to say, damn, I like what she does. And by the time nilikuwa na uza hizo smoky na ice cream, niliona rate ya wasichana kuuza smoky wali increase kwa streets. No, no. So I used to feel motivated too. And what people are telling me, I used to feel motivated too. So like a woga yakuza tin me, msiana mrembo anauza ice cream, mama anauza smoky nikatoa kabisa. Good, good. <laughs> so I would love to understand. I interest ya kupata idea unaenda nayo. Unapata idea, how do you even you turn but unaenda nayo, ulitoa wapi. Because many people, yes, I might have an idea, but how to start? Yosina. How did you do it? Kila mtu anakuanga na challenge hapo, how to start. But sasa ukiangalia, mini kiangalia personally, naangalia, I have bills to pay. And I have to pay them. Na nikika hapa, kuna mtu tanilete yo pesa niambia, shika. So I have to go and look for it. Na mi spendi kuomba, na shindango kuomba, kuomba, tunipe, nipe, begging, na shindango sana. So, I want my financial freedom. I want to get my money and know how to use it. Yeah. And no one will at an ismamiat you have to use this. Uh, nataka my financial freedom. So you only queen and iskoma most of the time. Yeah. So how did you find entrepreneurship to be like as a young person? Entrepreneurship is challenging. Let me tell you, 
it's not an easy road. It's not for the faint-hearted. Trust me. Haya. So like, kwanza kwa capital, capital ningumu kupata. That is why I didn't, uh, for example, in my story as Smoky, si kuenda directly at kubai troll yangu because I don't have that capital. So I went through Candy Fresh, walikuwa na nipeo capital yote. Mimi tu nikuwa na pata profit na lipa June. No, no. Haya. The next thing, iyo anza. Iyo ati, naenda kuanza kishu. It's a lot. <laughs> hey, it's a lot. So, lazimu kuena research poa, henyu mefanya social media po yuko YouTube fanya research yako be inspired by people then just go just start just, just start, start. it a flow just start mm -hmm. yeah speaking of research did you find did you get any training in terms of business and financial literacy as you're doing these small businesses uh for me i will say uh basically not a formal one but I read books, I love reading. I read books the financial there's nanipe financial literacy. I also go watch videos, YouTube, there's nanipe financial literacy. And uh, through the equity, okay. Uh, I was I told you I was a scholar. So in campus you join something that's called a chapter, equity leaders program. Okay. So uh, in, in this equity leaders program, we are also given uh, lessons. Zoom lessons or uh, maybe conferences to Nenda Tunafunzwa. And one of the topics Tunafunzwa is financial literacy. So those are basic knowledge and then say, then come and move through there. That is, that is quite uh, motivating. Yeah. Kujua, you've, you've been through all this and you still managed to be positive about it and learn even more about it. And Sasa uh, Tungerele Tujuane, what is the story behind Tujuane Adventures? Tujuane is quite a story. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to us, as raw as it comes. It's quite a story. Mm. You remember the MC we are talking about? Raj, MC Raja. Raj. Uh -huh. MC Raj. No, he has been in the entertainment industry. He has skills. Zenyeni kuleta watu pamoza ku entertain. And me, in my part, I love adventure. I used to go bike ridings. I used to go, like, sezi ka kakamega na CG. So, mi nilikuwa na tembea na chukua bike. Pale kwa mutambo bikes, there's a guy who supplies bikes. Pale tunamutanga mutambo bikes. Na chukua bike, naenda na tembea, na tembea, na tembea. Na piga picha, I post in my status and guys are like, Hey, na shuku ni wapi, uku ni wapi, next time ni bebe, next time tuende na ye, next time, you see. So, there was a time it mouza ice cream, ice cream, tume tumechoka yani business si mzuri nile nikaenda kutembelea MC siku moja kwake tumeke tv tunakula lunch na nikamwambia eh mi maisha imekuwa ngumu aki i don't have a financial income yenye ni inaweza ni sustain sina pesa ya kulipa rent yenye inaweza ni sustain aka na mi nimechoka na hizi biashara what do we do eh akaniuliza what are you passionate about ni nini unaweza fanya na usichoke because Easy vitu ndogo ndogo naona tukifanya mtu ana, anafika at some point anaona it, it's exhausting and anachoka. Mimi nikamwambia mimi napenda ku travel, mimi natipenda kutua. And uh, according to the research I was doing on YouTube, mimi naweza anza at was something to us na organize students to us alafu tunaenda wana ni, na, napata ka profit kidogo juu. Hiyo ndio kitu mimi siwezi choka kufanya. Akaniambia wa do you know I have I have the same idea. I don't know why we think the same, but I have the same idea. And he showed me a book where he was writing all his ideas as in Amkudzia kwa mind. And ilikuwa hapo. Uh, one day he wanted to start a tours company. You see? So we combined the idea and were like, ah, tukumbe tunafikiria the same. So Mimi, I can be arranging where we are going and... Uh, is a site I'm good at researching those sites and you you can be hyping those people because you are an MC you can no utajua when you tawafurahisha utabamba unaona so and like ah this deal is good so now we look for a name wow mm -hmm. look for a name so go sleep on it i look you look for a name and i look for a name at that time uh MC Bado MC Raj alikuwa na e program kwa status yake ilikuwa tujuane tujengane 
it was a program and I have now at a certain time, sijin sambili, even siku. So he used to promote his friends' businesses. So anachukua mtu, anaeleze story yake kwa status, watu anafuata, alafu palivo mwisho, anamfollow social media, zama wanaenda kumpromote biashara. So ilikuwa naituwa, tujuane, tujengane. So mi nikenda nyumbani, nika brainstorm a lot of, a lot of uh, names, 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 Nikim Tumianga, Tuki Chat. So we used to, uh, uh, we have a name, Tunai search kwa IG, Tuone kama kuna, there is an existing business with that name. Tuna search, tuna search, tuna search, tuna search. Eh, then we kakwa tume search majina nyingi sana. Then MC suggested, mbona tusite, tuj, ii tujuane, tujengane, because tunapeleka watu wakajuane uko ivo, kwa nature ama waki, wakijibambo uko, tunawapeleka wajuane, we can do this program, lakini si kwa status anymore, but kwa venues. Uko wakijibamba, wanajuana kibiashara, wanajuana kipersonal life, evil. So, and I was like, wow, that is a good idea. So, you can call it Tujuane Tujengane Adventures. But that was a long name. Tujuane Tujengane Adventures. It was a long name. So, tutakaseba, tutue, Tujengane. Tueke, Tujuane Adventures. And that's how it came to be. Wow. I, ni mependa venye mmekachi, ni mme decide, you have like-minded people, you know, yeah. and then you decide to go with the idea. Yeah. So how did you implement, implement this idea? Mepata jina, and then you know, this is my guide, kona idea moja. How did you implement that idea? Haya, so, uh, your time, tulienda, your time, after tumepata jina, hatu actualize immediately. Tumepata jina, sasa tukatulia. Tukenda wa... Uh, Tukenda, uh, ya kaenda attachment, mini kenda long holiday. So, aki wa attachment, alienda attachment Red Cross na Kuru. So, one, if, one, one day, wakia tuwa meka, wakamua, wacha wa make circles, wacheze hapo hivyo, wafanya team building. So, as an MC he is, haka jitokeza, haka kufanyisha watu, team building. So, kuwafanyisha hivi watu wakabambika, supervisor wakabambika, enda kani pigia, kani ambia, eh, Nashla nimepigisha, okay, wananita nganash. <laughs> that is, that is uh, the, the, my common name na julika na nayo nash. Nashla nimepigisha to team building. Yeah, so, uh, after wamewapigisha hivyo team building, wakabambika, then he had an idea. Mbona nisiwapeleke place ingine, ispokuwa sa hapa hii uwanja ya hapa hivyo ofisi ni wapeleke mbali, lafu tujibambe tu hivyo. No, no. Naka suggest kwa watu, na tukienda Mount Longonot, sini hapa tu, tuendeni Mount Longonot tu, tujibambe huko, akapo yo delegation ya kupanga the whole tour. Akatafta tu avans, akatafta tu avans mbili, juu watu walikuwa ntusha tu avans mbili, na akawambia tunaenda, na akapanga rates, na akapanga package, a package, na akapanga, na akawambia tunaenda Longonot, na kila kitu hika ingiana. So the day ya kuenda, I love this guy because akili yako nayo. <laughs> Aka brand t-shirts ya kila mtu. Na aka brand to join adventures, to join adventures. Kila mtu. Tuko tumetafta logo na jina na kila kitu. Aka brand na aka pia kila mtu. Sasi misi yuko na kuru. I mean kaka mega yako na kuru. He had the, the, the opportunity to actualize the idea. So aka brand hizo t-shirts na aka pia. So benye walienda longo not walienda ka to join adventures. Wow. And that was the first trip. Wow. Na watu wakajibamba, waka enjoy, and the brand was already out there now. Interesting. Yeah. So what kinds of activities do you engage in at Tujuani Adventures? We do hiking, mm -hmm. we do camping, we do team buildings, we do especially team building for corporates. That's what we, we, are, we are currently invested in. Mm -hmm. uh, we do group tours, we do road trips, uh, we do birthday anniversaries, yeah. Wow. And uh, umeongelelea packages. Mm -hmm. huh? What different packages do you have at Tujuane Adventures? Okay. Uh, now we organize private tours. Mm -hmm. The group tours one. Now people organize themselves as eight people. They request for a tour. We plan it for them. Mm -hmm. We also do these public tours that we, uh, these public packages. We come up with a package to go to somewhere. Then we advertise it on social media and people book from mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also kids packages where we organize a kids ad, uh, kids adventures especially in long holidays and midterms to now to now organize then we give the parents wanna book for their kids. Uh, we have corporate team building packages 
we do we do team building for most corporates yeah so we have packages for them and they are very affordable wow and uh seeing that this is a business how is the market of this industry okay the market according to where it started let me talk about kakamega the market is uh, it has been a bit challenging because people are not used to traveling it is a new like a new idea you're introducing into a market where people they didn't have that idea that they can go and travel they can go and have fun they only know their money you, uh, the idea of having fun is via clubs and via drinking you see but they don't have that idea they can come they can go somewhere see so introducing it to kakamega was a bit was a bit of a challenge but uh, now we have covered at least ground we yeah we to meet up back on your market <laughs> <laughs> you spoke of a challenge in between there what other challenges did you encounter and how did you maneuver them as you're doing this business another challenge is the connection with hotels and venues as young people to maneuver na upate that network is very very hard especially and uh, another thing is transport you see these two vans we are outsourcing them and they might be a bit expensive that makes our package expensive and an expensive package is very hard to sell yeah so getting those people who you can sign deals with that they can give you a car at this price or this price is very hard but over the over some time to manage na penda venye you just going for it imeanguka he said you go for it through the other way na i just love your personality and i commend you for that thank you so what skills would you say managing this business has developed in you number one, it has um, it has it has made me develop financial literacy at least i know how to balance accounts now i know how to manage money uh, number two, it has made me know how to pro, uh, come up with problem solving skills I, no matter the challenge that is in front of me mm -hmm. i will know how to tackle it number 3 it has taught me professionalism at least i can present myself professionally to people to clients I, number 4 it has taught me to be a team player because uh, running a running a partnership thing is not easy it's like a, let's say it's like marriage it has its own challenges but you must uh, you must work through you must work it through doing a partnership business is not easy yeah it's yeah. not easy yeah. i just i'm at all of what you're doing <laughs> thank you how can one emulate what you've done to attain their dreams just as you have number one i'll recommend a person to follow their passion don't do something because your friend is doing it or you think uh, something is successful you don't know the downfall of that and you don't know the challenges those past people are, are facing and you don't know how to handle them just do whatever whatever comes from your heart it's easier to do that that's why mc recommended we do something <laughs> we do that something that's that from love, yeah? yeah it's from their heart mm -hmm. uh, then number two, i love i love those people to network network and build relations that we are, that will come we will we, we'll build the partnerships zenye zinaweza unaweza tumia kwa kibiashara go to networking events expose yourself usijikalie pale ivati siwezi yeah expose yourself yeah we have had a lot from you according to to joanne adventures so tutakupata wapi if you want to travel if you want to travel social media tuko huko to joanne adventures uh, instagram facebook TikTok, LinkedIn, tuko kwote to join adventures. To join adventures utatupata kila pahali. It's the only to join adventures in social media. So what can you tell a young person who is hesitant to do something? Maybe they are in school or they are almost finishing and they are wondering what to do but they are still hesitant. What can you tell them? Number one, just okay just to do it just do it uh, don't be afraid of failure because failure is not the opposite of success 
but it just it is a stepping stone towards success just do it don't be afraid you fail you okota yourself unaendelea anguka jiokote endelea number 2 naweza ambia do whatever you like do whatever you do your passion and don't let anyone's opinion undermine that number three, i insist again network and build your yourself your connections because these days your network is your net worth mm-hmm. yeah. then another one continue building yourself daily learn more read books watch channels have mentors who can uh, hold your hand and uh, go with you Okay. Uh, another one do community work, community give back. Because at the end of it all, tutarudisha mkono shukrani pale kwa community kwa kutu raise. Thank you so much for presenting yourself here. Ume ume umetupea a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm sure most of us will take it into consideration. Okay. You have had it. Failure is not the opposite of success, rather it is a stepping stone. Just do it network have the information expand your thinking to have a successful goal towards your dream this has been youth in action i am nyangwe sogrenis see you next time this is the way to do it this is the